what is oh. what is going Ooh. on everyone uh, the delayed chris crack going it's because these cans Welcome. suck <laughs> oof yeah oh yeah they do this spew everywhere yeah right in my mic yep yep, yep. <gasps> that's how wow. they, that's how they go they really appreciate oh, it sorry i gotta, <laughs> people. I gotta get the did you just up. blow into the mic <laughs> i gotta oh, get the gosh, please out. don't <laughs> oh, hello gosh. everybody oh, sorry ASMR for everyone's fans. ears and jordan's ear raping everybody but welcome back <laughs> yeah. good lord guys on tap <laughs> and gargling jordan we're back we're here virtually again but that's okay um we're gonna go ahead and get this started what you guys are drinking today jordan what you got? I am once that again just... making my way through some monster seltzers. This week is the peach flavor, Ooh. and another banger. No, yeah, yeah. That's, it's a little too sweet for my taste. But no such, no such thing. <laughs> There's such thing. <sighs> Hooded Logan, what you got down there? I'm running it back, and I'm sipping on another Dry County strawberry lemonade vodka. I grabbed the same one from last week uh, by accident, but. It's too damn good. I decided to just run it back. Yeah. What about you? Plus all of our plus all of our drinks are at Jordan's house. I am <laughs> go, going with a Yingling. I think I've had like three of these on the podcast by now, but they're my favorite beer, and that's what I had in my fridge. So we're rolling yeah, with yeah. it today. Yeah, that's Catherine's mm. favorite beer. Yeah, I know she has good taste. Oh yeah. Um, loves, yeah, loves a Yingling. Yeah. Also, got me. A little something, something, or a few days. I thought, like, thing I told Jordan, but not you, Logan. Check this out, boy. Just stepped up my social <laughs> game, baby. Look at that thing. Yeah, dude. I'm excited. I, I actually went and got some tobacco for it today. That's so, lit. I'm going to test it out. Huh? So, when we smoking? Well, I'm going to try it out tonight. Uh, I'll be but next, next time there's a minutes. social event that y'all are wanting to smoke some cigars, I'm going I'm to bring that. Golf. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I bet they make a holder for it. <laughs> no, you it's can't. Just like smoke, little, you, you can't you, do a pipe on a golf course. You can't. That, that's it's a, just not gonna no, be great. No, it's gonna suck. That's more. You have to stay on the pipe because the pipe you have will have to be relit multiple times, probably even just sitting there. That's fine. Yeah, but I'm excited to try it out. I've smoked from a pipe like twice in my life, and it's so clean. It's it's awesome. So super excited about that. Really? Yeah. Huh? We're all moving a little uh, slow today. Full transparency. We're recording this early <laughs> because we have a busy week ahead of us. Um, at least yeah. I do. Um, and uh, last night, big congratulations to the happy couple, Jacob and Cheyenne. Yep. The newlyweds, uh, Cheyenne and Jacob Cook. Congratulations. Cook. We, uh, we Dan attended their wedding their celebration. The whole Let them and the celebration yeah. was. Was it? It was it was it was a celebration. Oh no, I said let them yeah, cook should have been their slogan. It should have. <laughs> the, the whole night. I, I, I said the Logan like 50 times last night. I was like, hold up. Let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> yeah, me and Jordan may have had too much of a good time, but not too much. The perfect uh, spritz, dude. No, nah, it, it was it was a good time. I mean, I am astounded the... that you guys didn't get sick. Uh, that's why I stopped dancing for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I I had to. I was hot. I was sweaty. <clears throat> the the beer in my stomach was slushing around. I I had to stop for a hot minute and just take a break. I felt great. I was rocking. Oh, we then got back into it. Yeah, I, it was fantastic. And then we had just a bus and Waffle House on the way home, dude. I need to tell a quick story. <laughs> F you. F both of you for that, bro. Where'd y'all even, which one y'all go to? I don't even crossroads. Know you could have gone. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> no. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm like we five, ten minutes Wendy's. from there. You could have told me about it. Which, well, originally we tried, we tried to, to stop at Wendy's. Wendy's, but the line was wrapped around the building, and there just so happened to be a Waffle House there. And y'all didn't be like, hey, Matthew and Taylor are like right by here. They'll probably be super close. Let's see if they want to come. No, no, wasn't even thinking. Not about even it. in that. All, head, bro. all I thought about was food. Yeah, but we were already there. You like, would you have come? Yeah, me and Taylor were starving. Damn, 
Yeah, we didn't plan that. Yeah, yeah, we would have dropped my mom off, mom off and just came right there. <laughs> how how much after we left did you leave? Uh, probably twenty minutes. I just helped put the whatever leftover alcohol they had back into the truck, and then we left. I know there were no Michelobes. <laughs> <laughs> Those were all gone for real. Yeah. As soon as I walked in, she said, no Michelobes. I was like, okay, I'll take Dos Equis. Uh, okay. Is that why you got me a Dos Equis that last round? Yep, there was nothing else. Oh, I really <laughs> didn't want the Dos Equis. I, I wanted another Michelob just because it's I did lighter. Too. I walked in, and the last five times I walked in, she had one on the bar for me ready. It was great. <laughs> she knew you. I probably had 12 beers last night. Oh, oh you had more. more than 12. You had more than 12. 12. You had like 20 beers, dude. Dude, there was a moment before, like, with, dude, with, dude, within before the party minutes, started. You had like four or five beers at one point. I was about to say, before the party started, like after y'all were done eating, after I was done eating, I was like, how many are you on? He's like, oh, this is my fourth. Dude, you had easily like 15, 15 to 20 minimum. beers. 15 minimum. Easily. We shotgun too, or or chug too. Couldn't shotgun the bottle. You shotgun, you you, bro. You chugged like more At than least three, two, probably more three often times. than not. I looked over and you were just bottoms <laughs> up. Well, it was getting low. I had to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I brought one for Jacob to chug, and I chugged mine. He only drank half. I was like, yeah. Hey. Well, to be fair, he was chugging a sweet drink. I mean, you can't do those. Those are if too drank, tough. If he drank beer, he wouldn't have to. Yeah, I know. He don't drink beer, though. Hey, Jacob, I'm with you, bro. Hey. His is a, his you, is a you, lifestyle. Logan, you, you, yeah, Logan, you have a reason. You have a medical reason not to. He doesn't. <laughs> it was never a, What's that thing? Was, Mom, it was never a choice. It was a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. You said I got your picture? <laughs> That's a goaded uh, TikTok right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. It goes so. Hard. We stopped at Waffle House, like we mentioned, and Jordan. L- let's just also picture the fact that Miranda is at her peak of like annoyed with how drunk Jordan is. <laughs> like <laughs> everything he says, she's just like, "Shut <laughs> up!" Like you're annoying. Like just go to sleep. Like she was so <laughs> she was ready to go um, uh, home. I think she was just tired just stupid tired so she she was ready to go we stopped at waffle house which was fine um fine. but jordan like kept on first of all he called me pussy like 20 times throughout the night <laughs> like <laughs> stupid bro i was like this usually doesn't fire me up but i was like high key getting like like angry like, stop fucking oh, calling me off. that like <laughs> She Motherfucker, the pussy back. Shut up, pussy. <laughs> then yeah, you just got fired right back at him, honestly. But that's not even it. First of all, <laughs> so I get there and I like I have an objective. I'm like, I want waffles. It's Waffle House. I always get waffles when I go to Waffle House. Yeah. Um, so I sit down and I tell the lady, I want two waffles. But then I was like, ooh, but I kind of want some bacon and some eggs too. And she's like, why don't you just get the All Star and add an extra waffle? And I was like, okay, that's cool. So I just did that. And it was great. Um, but I ate all the food and realized, like, I had all these hash browns to eat. So I just dumped them onto Jordan's plate. Um, and at some point, this man just decided, f- decides, fuck a fork and just picks the hash browns up with his hands and just starts gnawing. No at way. It. Yeah, I couldn't get my fork every time I tried to. Is like, that put what it the off? picture was of you guys? Or were you actually eating with a fork? Uh, that might have just been a random picture. The one where I'm eating. Uh, yeah. That was. Wait, Catherine sent it to me. Where'd it go? Oh, did I not say that? Oh, yeah, no, you actually you had a fork right there. Okay. But dude, you were like, you were so far, like, down trying to eat that. You were, like, just shitting it had, in. <laughs> had and look so on... many hash browns that I, I didn't realize how many hash browns they were going to give me. So I was just like, honestly, I... I prioritized the second waffle over the hash browns. And I was like, fuck it. You can have my hash browns. I just dumped them. So you had two waffles, two waffles and toast and bacon and eggs. <laughs> oh my God. You figure that we only had one sandwich and we had some baked beans four hours. Oh, bro. Per... There was like no, like they didn't have, I don't think they had enough food. I mean, the food was great. Don't get me wrong. No, yeah. They, probably, they were skipping out on when they got me the, they didn't give me a whole thing of beans. They gave me like, he was like, yeah. Like, 
Man, give me some beans, man. Let him <laughs> cook. Let <laughs> me up, pussy. Because <laughs> we probably ate at, uh, let's see, if the wedding started at 4 30. We probably we ate probably, at 5 30. We probably ate uh, close to 5 30. Between yeah. 5 30 and 6, I'd have, yeah. I'd have to so say. So by the time we hit Waffle House, it was probably close to. It was 11. What? 11? It was okay, probably. It was so probably I got 11. home at 12. Okay, it's so five yeah. and a half hours late. Five, five and a half hours later. Uh, Not yeah, to I'd mention, be... we were, I mean, we were sweating, dancing, dancing, drinking. Drink. I mean, yeah. yeah, everything that constituted eating. Yeah, because the game. dancing was all outside. So I probably had the most fun I've ever had rapping a song. That honestly might be a clip this week. Honestly, I might just make that it into a clip. It needs to be. Yeah, that's the whole <laughs> video. Logan was going in, bro. I was like, I was eating, bro. Dang. 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 When he it happened said... right after the send off happened. Like the DJ goes, like we got Jimmy Cooks playing, and then like it, I heard it play, and then I like was like looking for Jordan because he was like <laughs> he was like fucking taking pictures of like the sparklers or something. Maybe I request like lit on a firecracker. Oh yeah, uh, and I had requested it, and then they were doing the send off, the fake send off. I was like, damn, I miss my own song. And I, right when I was done, I sprinted over there. Fuck a pigeon hole on the night. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, that's 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 a clip. Honestly, it might just do the whole video on it. <laughs> um, that it was a banging time. That it, yeah. it, it it was it was towards the end of that wedding. It took me a minute to get into the mood to like want to dance, but once I got in the mood, like it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's how I always am. I'm never one to just want to dance, but you get a few drinks in me, and mm-hmm. if everyone else around me is having a good time, I'm in. I, I know it's just cannot. a lifestyle for you, Jacob, but thank you for having other options at your wedding. It was awesome. I can't turn off ice things. Dude, those things were busted. Oh, yeah. The they neon really lemonades. Good. Yeah. That one. The, yeah, those right. The ones in the cans, not the bottles. Well, uh, either one. I really like the ones yeah. in the cans more. Yeah, those are the neon lemonades, bro. Those are really good. Those are the ones you told me to try like a year ago, and I never did. Hey, now I can say I did. <laughs> <laughs> But I only had like two because I was like, if I drink this all night, I ain't going far mm-hmm. into the night. <laughs> you would have had, you can't drink a ton of those back to back to back. Your stomach would have hurt so bad. Especially yeah. jumping up and down mm-hmm. and sweat. I went to the bathroom at one point. Dude, I was sweating. I mean, yeah. I had to. Like, Bro, you left your towel. jacket on for almost the whole time. Dude, I don't oh, know how. God. When I told you I was taking my jacket off, you were like, why? I was like, what do you mean, why? It's I was hot. hot. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So I was like, yeah. I'll just leave it on. I had buttoned it. That was as far as it got. Yeah. It was, it was lit. It, it was, was fantastic. Good time. Yeah. I, I honestly, I loved the dance floor being outside. I thought that was really dope. I wish they had better. I wish it just wasn't stone. That was my oh, only issue. Yeah. 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 Dude, in the, in the, tur- the grass they had was just turf. So it was just, you know, like fake turf or whatever. Yeah. And when you're wearing a tuxedo, they give you those leather bottom shoes boy <laughs> slip dude i was trying to catch up to someone and i well, i tried to stop i just slipped and just nailed my knees bro Ooh. it hurt my knees are killing me today it, it's pain <laughs> pain yeah it oop. whoopsies but yeah great time gave jacob a lap dance yeah i was just yeah. gonna bring that up i was be like i didn't have on my bingo card watching matthew give someone a lap dance <laughs> was that awesome. jealous yeah <laughs> it was, it was. and then like everyone else just started giving someone a lap dance whoever sat in the seat actually they were they were doing that first and then jacob sh- sat down and cheyenne was supposed to do one on jacob but she wouldn't do it so i stepped in I took him oh, for yeah. the I took him for the team. Oh, Cheyenne, you, you let him down. <laughs> that was his, he is so ready. Now nah, let's like be it. let's be honest. He really wanted me there, not her. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Can I get guys on tap on this lap dance? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your wedding gift. <laughs> um, some Cherish ass. It forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only redeemable once. So, <sighs> oh, yeah, man. that. That was fantastic, and maybe it was just the moment of the night, but the Waffle House was just fantastic. It was like when we went, when we went last weekend, and it was, it just hit different because you're like you're just in the you're mode. Drunk. You're yeah, it's late. You're tired, drunk. It, yeah, dude, that's when Waffle House hits the best. And I just kept like giving antics to our waitress, and she was just like so cool with it, and she wasn't like annoyed she didn't seem annoyed by it. she was like laughing and stuff i was like oh you're so nice probably because well, you're the nicest drunk that came through there probably 
<laughs> probably. Very nice drunk. M- most drunks that come through are probably a holes to her. Yeah. Fuck you! Give me my waffles. <laughs> yeah, prob- probably so. Yeah, you know you're at Waffle House when the waitress calls you honey like four times. Oh yeah, yeah. Coming right up, like, and they have like five teeth. <laughs> she actually had all her teeth, I think. She did have she all of her teeth. She must not have worked there long enough. You can tell that she was a vet, though, because like Jordan was doing some goofy shit, and I was like, and I think I said, like, I'm sorry for him, or she she was like, Oh, honey, it ain't nothing. I was like, damn right. <laughs> <Been here. laughs> she oh, was lit though. Man. We had a good time. Yeah. Thanks. Shouts to Jacob Cheyenne for throwing at me and Catherine the invite. It was great. Yeah. Best anniversary party ever. Yeah, it was great. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I got to drink heavy for free. All I had to do Heck was get him yeah. a dip. <laughs> there you go. Some, some oh, kind of really? <laughs> I got a gift. <laughs> <laughs> what? Matthew, do you know this? I didn't get Jordan and Miranda a wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it them the full my, story. It was my first gift. Or it was my first oh. wedding that I'd ever been invited to by like a friend and not like a family member because my parents obviously always would have handled the wedding gift if it was like a yeah. family wedding. Yeah. So I never gave. So like, I brought Catherine and in the car on the way she was like, "Oh yeah, so what'd you get them?" And I was like, "What you? What do you mean? What I get them?" <laughs> and she was like, "You didn't get them a gift?" And I was like, "Am I supposed to?" Like. <laughs> I just I was not aware of the wedding etiquette at that point in time. And I promise you, you probably could have just never said anything to anyone and they wouldn't have even known. No, and I got called out for it. Miranda yeah, who called- knew and she called me out months and or yeah, months and months and months later. Oh dang. It was probably like in a joking, like, oh yeah, this dude didn't get me a gift. It was so it wait, like like you, you didn't away. tell them, right? You didn't tell them she just knew. Oh yeah, she just knew. Yo, Miranda's going down the list of who attends. Like, I get a gift from them. I get a gift from them. Nope. Yep. She <laughs> Unfriended. There was a couple people that forgot or or that didn't, and I was one of those few. I didn't. I truly Man. didn't meet. So, like, when I got there, the Jake guy, one of our old friends from Kroger, I was like, "Do you mm-hmm. get him anything?" He was like, "Well, yeah." And I was like, <laughs> "I was hoping he'd say no." I don't think we did, but we were in the part. We were the bridal party. So, I, my rule is: if you're in the bridal party, you don't get a gift. Your gift is you're there and you're paying you spend, for yeah. you know you had to buy a suit or rent a suit. Well, I had to buy yeah. a suit. We had to pay for typically your you, party. Yeah, you pay and pitch in to pay for the bachelor party and stuff like that. Yeah. So but yeah. now it's just a running joke of like, oh, Logan just still hasn't gotten us a gift three years later. Yeah. When you guys renew your vows, I'll also not get you a gift. <laughs> 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 Or I'll be the only gift. That's, have, that's like, the bad gift. part is that like you forgot and you knew you forgot and you could have been like a week later after they get back. You're like, hey, I forgot to bring my gift. So I'm just going to have it sent to you or whatever. Man said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all right. They got plenty. Yeah. Good thing we didn't care. <laughs> One day I'm going to get you a <laughs> it sounds gift. Sounds like they do. We'll be like. <laughs> We'll be like 90 on the deathbed, and I'll be like, I got you your gift, and you're going to cry, and I'm going to cry, and it's going to be a great moment. And then you're just going to fall dead. Who's yep. on the deathbed, me or you? <laughs> yeah, older. Oh, I am. So you're giving my gift, like, finally, I can die in peace. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last thing I needed. <laughs> I was holding on to this. Uh, I, th- I really thought I was going to be a ghost clinging, clinging to, this a- to, the a- to this life just because you didn't get me a gift. Yeah, it's like the last thing on your bucket list was receive gift, receive wedding gift from Logan Lewis. <laughs> when you when you eventually do get the wedding present, it's not even gonna say from Logan and Catherine. It's just gonna say from Logan because it was my fault. <laughs> no, just don't even put who it's from. Just put congrats. We'll know. <laughs> just put congrats to the newlyweds. It's like six years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh, now we gotta man. wait like 10 years to do it because it's gonna be fresh on the mind yeah, yeah i'll yeah. never forget <laughs> apparently <laughs> you won't <laughs> yeah apparently no miranda took notes <laughs> she's listening right now like oh i got his ass yeah for real she's <laughs> giggling herself because she's like mm-hmm, i did call him out <laughs> that sob <That was> <sighs> so jordan 
Yeah. What you got? What you got? <laughs> uh, you got I have two things. Actually, I have three things we could talk about. One is I think I deserve an award. Okay. You know okay. For the last <laughs> 10 years of my life watching all these CWDC shows, episode one to end, I did all of them. Let's go down the list. There was Flash. It, no, no, no. Before you start, hold on. Before you start, the only thing you need to receive from doing all that is a slap to the face of how dumb you are for doing it. I was too deep. I was you too can deep. stop at any time. No, you can't. No. Yes, once you can. I did. Once you're four seasons in, I just can't stop a show like I was, that. If it's bad enough, you can. No. Why would um, you put yourself through the I misery? What I because they kept having spinoffs, and I needed to know what was happening in the other show to know what was happening in the spinoff. It was, I was just too committed at that point. Was, at, at the time, if you look at it, I'm like, hey. It started hey, with Flash and Arrow, and I was like, all right, I just have to watch two episodes a week. Like, that's fine. And then it turned into like this. six shows a week. Have you watched all the Marvel shows? Every single one of them? No. Okay, then. Then that's I'm not a reason though. because you they prioritize the movies. C grade television over A plus television. Well, not A plus. Some it's of them are good. But the that's Marvel the same one. concept. You have to watch the shows to really understand some of the movies, and you don't even do that. You just nah, go and watch the movies. Those don't no, really it's the tie- same. Those yes, don't tie do. into the movies as much as all the shows tie into each other. They tie in pretty well. The Marvel but, shows tie in. But you never have to see a Marvel TV show to know anything in the movie. Like, you will not be lost whatsoever. It helps. If you, you have not be lost. You, you, you might be, you might be wondering, Strange, like, where this character comes from or going something. On. Is that yeah. the only Marvel TV shows I haven't seen is, like, the ones on Netflix. Like, the, uh, the, F, the, uh, like, Daredevil. Like, no, no, I've seen all of those. The ones where it's like the Agent Carter and stuff, isn't that one? Or like, yeah. where it's that like the agent after like one season. Oh, oh no, 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 those those don't tie in hardly at all. I'm not right. talking about those. Oh, that's literally the only thing I was like. Oh, otherwise, yeah, I've seen them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh okay. I've seen every okay. Marvel, WandaVision, okay. uh, She Hulk. Actually, the only thing I did not watch because you guys said it meant nothing was uh, uh, Mar- uh what Marvel. If? The what if. No, the Mar- uh, Marvel, Marvel. 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 Yeah, the little girl one. You, yeah, it, it, you can, I mean, if you're gonna, it's not great, but it still ties in. There's, I mean, there's a whole movie about Miss Marvel or like Lee Marvel. But yeah, I'm probably gonna ha- watch it. But yeah, that's the only thing I haven't seen. You can watch it to understand the character, but other than that, I, I it was very. You could probably just watch a recap on that's YouTube. Not what I would probably do. Well. You guys flamed it, so I really didn't have any interest. It was garbage. It was a waste of my time. I hate it. Every- I, I, I hate the She Hulk too. In most cases, but that that show, ugh, I I'm gonna hate the Marvels. I know it already. I'm gonna hate it. I'm not gonna like it. Yeah. But I'm gonna see it anyway because I got to see how the story progresses. I'm gonna like one third of it. Dang. <laughs> for, for I like how we're just trashing on Jordan for. <laughs> Put himself through this misery. Me and Logan are like, yeah, we're gonna watch the movie even though it sucks. Yeah, we watched that show even though it sucked. Yeah, the same con- yeah. same thing. You couldn't difference. just skip it. <laughs> I really liked Arrow. Like, I watched Arrow all the way through and thought it was pretty solid. I watched the first like three seasons of The Flash, and then I was just like, how many of these characters have to also become a version of The Flash? Like, Arrow was good until he became a bitch <laughs> when he stopped killing. That was Basically, <laughs> he became just a, the biggest bitch of all time. I'm like, and oh my gosh. Get I know that the here. CW leans into it, but some of the acting on the CW shows are like laughable. Like <laughs> garbage. Oh, oh yeah. It, it's so bad. Like, but on like the other hand, some of it is like pretty good, but pretty good. Like, it's very few and far between. It's not yeah. consistent. That's the issue. You get. You can get both ends of the spectrum in the same episode, and you're like, wait, 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 huh? Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, Stephen Mills' acting is kind of garbage. Actually, it's not kind of garbage. It is garbage. Yeah, he's not great. You failed this city. (laughs) That's the only good part. (laughs) Shot every time he said, I failed this city, or this is my city. Like, you'd be be dead. You'd be dead. (laughs) It'd be a long hour. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but like, but, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take I my I truly award. admire the fact that you were balls deep in the CW verse. Like, with like, would you were you watching like all of it? Like Legends of Tomorrow and everything. All too? of it, all of it, because oh. they started Legends of Tomorrow from uh, 
No, I don't think there was any Flash characters. Oh, yeah, there was. There were some Flash characters, Arrow characters. Um, who else was in there? That might have been it. But it was. It started out so good, too. That's what's crazy. All I know is it was the two dudes from Prison Break that were in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain, he, Captain, one Captain Cole. Captain Cole. And, and uh, what did he – he played – Mick was his name in the show. I don't know what yeah. it was like other name but they had flash arrow black lightning uh batwoman superman lois supergirl dc legends of tomorrow and i put starfire but that's not star girl star girl yeah star girl what the heck is star girl uh it was shot in downtown dallas actually like i don't georgia? like dallas, georgia yeah. yeah oh well uh okay. it came out in 2019 yeah it came out like a year or two before covid yeah there's only two seasons <clears throat> i thought the uh, first season was decent yeah but who is star girl like i've never even heard of her I you've heard of star man like their way of doing like no superman but superwoman i've never heard of star no man. no she you've never heard of star man i don't think so ever i've never heard of him either he so I'm, I think he's more in the justice DC stuff too. He's more like uh, Justice Society of America. Let me, let me look. It, like Green Lantern was in it. The Flash. Uh, they actually have the Green Lantern's daughter in the show, which was kind of cool. There's which some green, that which Green Lantern? It's, it's horrible. Uh, they don't. They don't. Even, they don't even tell you that. You don't even <laughs> get to know dumb. that. Yeah, uh, the show is not good. I'm. It, I'm so happy it ended after two seasons. <clears throat> But well, I was trying to see when it you do deserve out. an award. Congratulations. You wasted Thanks. a lot of time, but now you can move on to Succession, The Last of Us, The Mandalorian. You you oh. got a lot to do. I don't want to watch The Mandalorian. It really it's don't. actually really good. It, it's really good. I, I, I was like that too, but once I started watching it, I couldn't stop. It's good. You could Where? skip Boba Fett, like the book of Boba Fett. You don't need to watch that. I think you I've watched seen it. <laughs> oh, you have? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It was I mean, okay. I feel the way about Book of Boba Fett that I do Miss Marvel. I thought it was a complete waste of time. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. feel that way, but I really like Boba Fett's my favorite. All, him and Darth Vader are my favorite Star Wars characters of all time. So I was a little Star sad. Wars, that... We were having this conversation yesterday. What is the best uh, Star Wars movie of all time? In the only count, we're not going to count any of the. Uh, like Rogue Does it have ones. to be the main, just Why? the main trilogy, or All right, you could the main saga, like episode was, one through nine? Yeah, that's what I was considering. One through nine. Okay. Yeah, if we're considering all of them, Rogue One. But if we're only going, Rogue One is top tier, like films. Period. Like Rogue One's fucking. Yeah, Rogue weird. One is really good. Sadly, I've only watched it once, but I've I watched that and seen like thousands of times, bro. That yeah, oh, times. It pumps me up. Dude, just Rogue One holds the record. Dude, it, that's the first cinematic scene where they showed Darth Vader just going all out, being Darth yeah. Vader how he should have been. Because the old movies, they're like clunky yeah, and slow. Too old. But anyway, um, I have my answer. As much as I, that, I've trashed and hated on the the prequels. I think Episode Three. Revenge might be, yeah, might hands, be up there. Hands down, it, it, it like, out of those nine, I, it I'm shits on the, all of them. In my I'm opinion. not the biggest fan of the choreographed uh, lightsaber duels, just because I, I like the like the newer ones. That's the only thing I like about is the ruggedness and like how they're actually hacking at each other, trying to kill each other. Yeah, I agree completely. But when Anakin and Obi Wan are going at it at the end. And it's pretty sweet. It, it's pretty cool to watch. So, so. we talked about this. So you, you have that scene, right? You have yeah. the uh, Grievous and Obi-Wan battle. Hello there. <laughs> you have Count Dooku in the beginning. Yep. You have Yoda and Palpatine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Dude, about just that like one. banger, 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 banger. They're fighting uh, in it. They're throwing like yeah. in it seats at each other. Like, yep. Like, and Yoda dude. has to yeet himself out of there like a little bitch. Right, he could have taken him. He could have ended. He could have saved the next six movies. <laughs> yep. He could have cut that... the whole series off right there. 
Rogue One still holds the record for the most times I've seen one movie in the theaters. I saw it five times in theaters. Dang. It's I a good movie. One thing about it, which sucks. I forget. You don't, don't remember, remember one thing, one about, thing it? about it? It's almost been 10 years since it came out. That's crazy. Dang. Seven years. It was what really was the, good, though. What were they trying to do? Get the Death Star plans? They're they're the ones who gave... Yeah, the Death Star plans and... Um, like that loophole where they have to shoot the bomb yeah. into that one spot. They're the yeah. ones who gave that information to Leia, and Leia went to Obi Wan. Okay. Yeah. Like when you in in A New Hope, when you hear them say like, a team was able to uncover these plans. Like that that was the team. That yeah. Um, I think um in terms of rewatchability, um, I've always loved A New Hope the most. Uh, however, Revenge of the Sith is pretty top tier Star Wars. Like, I do think it's really corny with like when they're doing the lightsaber fights, and it's a clear like, dun, 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 dun. like it's yeah. clearly rehearsed. Whereas, like, right. like you said, like in The Force Awakens, when Kylo Ren is fighting Rey for the first time, like they're literally like he's literally like it's the most he's clunky hacked. fighting ever. But I think it's intentionally clunky. Like, yeah. It's supposed to be more like raw. it's like it, yeah, it's like medieval. Like they have swords and they're just trying to kill each other, and they're not exactly. like gracefully doing it, right? But <clears throat> I, Revenge of the Sith is an awesome movie. Out of the prequels, I think Revenge of the Sith is probably the best out of the prequels and the original trilogy. Yeah. I it think wasn't for the Revenge quality. of the Sith is pretty awesome. It wasn't for the quality of the first ones and just the time they were made. They would probably be much higher on the list, but yeah, they just start shitty. They're they're still a good watch. Like oh, yeah. story is good, but other than I that, still like, like watching it. I mean, you just have to get yeah. past the fact that it's an older movie. Like if if you realize that this was that was made in like the seventies, and you watch other movies made in the seventies, it was top tier for the time. Oh yeah. So I just can't get past. like I I. This is an unpopular opinion, I think, but I love The Force Awakens. Like, I have a real soft spot for that movie. For some reason, like, I don't know if it's because it, like, kicked off, like, now, like, Star Wars that we have, like, we have The Mandalorian and everything because of The Force Awakens coming back and being a huge success. But, like, I, I know everyone thinks he's a bitch, but I love Kylo Ren as a character. Like, I love ray yeah. as a character i don't care for finn much he's fine i love bba like i love that the old characters came back like i love the force awakens i know it's basically a carbon copy of a new hope just reskinned a little bit but yeah i i don't know what it is but i saw the Fork force awakens i think four times in theaters i fucking love the force awakens Dang. But i like it i mean out of it's the best out of the newest trilogy by far. The other two are garbage. Yeah, um, they're tough. I, I don't like how, like, even in the shows, they're just making Luke Skywalker a bitch. Yeah, they are. It. Like, the only time Luke Skywalker has shined is in The Mandalorian when he's, like, coming to get Grogu. And he they have that huge fight scene with him against the droids or whatever. Awesome. Talk about a scene. Top, top two. Yeah. It gives Top the same tier. energy as the end of Rogue One. Exactly. exactly. Same energy. Exactly. exactly. Um, but then, like, you've got where he gives Grogu the choice of, oh, well, you can't love anybody, so either choose him or, you know, being a Jedi. F out of here, bro. Yeah. Like, Luke's not going to do so that. so dumb. No. It's like and the writers like, who wrote that scene didn't know. It's like they don't know who Luke Skywalker is. Like, yeah, they don't know the character. And in the new trilogy, how he like just yeets the lightsaber out whenever he grabs it from Ray or whatever, and just is like, I don't care. Not not my problem anymore. Right. Uh, it pisses me off, bro. Like, fuck off, eh? Yeah. Although they did make him they ended made his exit of the series or whatever really cool. How he just used the last remaining bit of force he had to like project himself galaxies away. That was Versus dope. Kylo Ren, yeah, yeah, that was and pretty get, dope. That's I'll an give emotional it to him for scene that. too, because you just see the anger in Kylo Ren's face of just like, "I hate you." Like that's the first yeah. time I think they've seen each other since he left his camp or his like Jedi training or one of the yeah. few times. And yeah, 
it was it wasn't even him. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. All right. Well, got we're all in the consensus that that is the best of the nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's definitely the most entertaining. Like it's got like a two hour and twenty minute runtime, and it's just nonstop. Like you said, there's like six lightsaber duels in it. Mm-hmm. Like in between like all the drama with Padme, like it's, it's top tier. It's awesome. Yeah. And I'll be honest, it's hard for me to watch a star Wars show or movie with no Jedi in it. If there's no Jedi, it's tough. And aside for rogue one, but rogue one has that last scene. But other than that, it's tough, man. I, that's what I watch star Wars for is for Jedi. Yeah. Oh yeah. If there's no Jedi, I, I, I probably just won't watch it. Unfortunately. Yeah. I dude, I really, really want a vader series just him i mean just him invading and and taking stuff down and like the obi-wan series golly i just wanted to show how strong vader really is bro yeah hey you never know what they could do in the future truly yeah i i honestly at this point like give it maybe like five to ten years i would be totally fine to just restart the entire franchise from movie one and just run it back one through not um one through six <laughs> yeah i'd rather do one. Oh, they i wish they could just scrap seven through nine just i guess it. it's a reboot they could do it they could read well, i'd give okay one i'll say one through nine they can have a second chance yeah yeah but, i like to think that if um i like to think that like seven i liked a lot and i think a lot of people liked a lot but then like switching directors for for set uh for eight and then for mm-hmm. the going back to J.J. Abrams for nine, he basically had to course correct all the shit, but then mm-hmm. also end the series. Like, I think nine was sloppy just because of that. There was there was sloppy elements of like ending the series. Don't get me wrong. But like, I do blame J.J. Abrams for not doing the whole trilogy. It seems weird that he left for it, one movie and then came back. I'm not even sure if it was his idea like Probably the wasn't. lady who's in charge of doing star wars stuff for disney Sucks. is garbage she's she's absolute trash she doesn't understand what star wars is kathleen kennedy we're talking about you yeah like at, at her honestly if who's the guy that does um mandalorian what's his name favro favro and the other uh Fil- dave filoni dave if filoni, those yeah. two got together and redid the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy go to top two. Oh yeah because they know star wars right they they basically are star wars at this point i wouldn't be surprised if dave filoni took over one day when kathleen kennedy uh retired dave filoni knows what he's doing yeah same with favreau favreau knows what he's doing the the episodes of like the mandalorian that dave filoni writes are always the goaded ones yeah i think those are always the ones that have like ahsoka in it and yeah uh, who was the uh, the bounty hunter? Um, um, I can't remember his name. The mm. guy with the hat, like the cowboy looking hat. Uh, Cad Bane. Yeah. Spoiler alert for Mandalorian season two. Eh. <gasps> he was in it three years old. Years. Yeah. yeah, he was in and out. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good topic. Star Wars. Go to yeah. Can't go wrong yeah. there. No. Right, one more I want to talk about if y'all don't have anything, but if you do, I, go ahead. I, think I was going to end on a funny note. Mine's another like it could take another ten minutes. I'll save it. I sure. Okay. It ten to 15, twenty minute talk. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll end on this note. Um, I saw a story on Instagram the other day. This isn't in Georgia, I don't think. Um, however, I thought it was funny enough. Uh, it took place in Chicago. Um, that ICE was like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about this situation. Okay, so this happened in February, so it is a little old. But I saw the story like recirculate social media, and I was like, we gotta talk about the fact that uh, an attacker who allegedly robbed a man at gunpoint gets caught because he stayed at the crime scene and ate fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, this is from. Uh, MS, uh, the Microsoft News, whatever. According to officials, victim parked his car in front of his house uh, in Chicago while walking to his home. This man, or 
Uh, he was ambushed by a man robbing him at gunpoint. And this incident took place at 1.30 on a Saturday night on February 18th. Uh, he, the victim woke up, or I'm sorry, the victim was snuck up from behind and the victim tapped him on the... Sh- Whoa, this, this article is written horribly, Microsoft. Um, so Taylor, I guess, is apparently the uh, attacker. So when I say Taylor, you know who I'm talking about. Taylor reportedly walked up behind the victim and tapped him on the shoulder when he turned around and there was a gun in his face. Uh, there, uh, there, the demands were that he handed over his possessions. The man handed over $2 that he had in his cash in his wallet, his debit card, keys, and a bag of fried chicken. Uh, Taylor must have been extremely hungry because there's no other way to explain what happened next. Instead of leaving, the man decided he would stick around. Not only did he walk the man to his house and he chose to stay, he actually got into the victim's car and started eating the fried chicken on the spot. Um, What the heck? The victim called the police while Taylor was enjoying his stolen fried chicken. The police arrived minutes later and arrested him. There are no details on whether Taylor managed to eat the whole bag or whether he was just surprised <laughs> uh, law enforcement showed up. Taylor is facing a multitude of charges, included armed robbery with a firearm, aggravated possession of a stolen motor vehicle, un- aggravated unlawful use of a weapon, and illegal possession of a debit card. Uh, the judge allowed the man to go home with an electronic monitoring tag after paying fifteen grand in bail. If he would have been convicted of the crimes, Taylor would face 21 years of prison, but could face a far lighter sentence by taking a plea deal. So I I take the plea, uh, Taylor. (laughs) Oh, bro. He got off easy. He had to pay 15 grand and then he just gets to chill. There ain't no way he's got 15 grand to pay. I think that's the option. Oh, true. True. Yeah. Like, if he's if he's trying to rob someone at gunpoint for money, he ain't got fifteen grand. No, no. Yeah. well, that's what bail bonds companies are for. Yeah, <sighs> so, so he probably had to call someone. Mom, it's how me good again. is the fried chicken for you to have to rob somebody and then be like, hold up, instead of running home, I'm I'm gonna just eat this chicken right here. There's no you... fried chicken in the world that's good enough to do that. <laughs> There's no food. Period. Right. Yeah. He, like when yeah, it's... hey uh, <laughs> Taylor, you're not you're not too great at this whole robbery thing, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what be- where you learned, but it's time to go back to the basics. You just, you you rob and then run away, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's kind of common knowledge. <laughs> We're not professionals here. One on one, they say you threaten to hurt them, take their things, and then leave, <laughs> and then run. <laughs> Can we put these tips up as our Wednesday post? Like a, <laughs> just a photo of like step one. <laughs> Uh, uh, threaten a uh, person. Step two, take belongings. Step three, leave crime scene. <laughs> Step <laughs> optional, knock him unconscious if you can. Right. Step four, don't get caught if possible. At the fine print, <laughs> the fine print at the bottom will say, and then abs- absolutely positively, do not stick around. <laughs> Step five, tell him to listen to guys on tap. <laughs> For real. If you're gonna if you're gonna steal someone's chicken and stick around and eat it, at least turn on guys on tap. All right, <laughs> all day. Send it to the homies. Cops bust in. Freeze. We're taking you to jail. Nah, let me get through the weekend talk first, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Is that guys on tap? Let me listen. <laughs> they hop in the car. Like, hey, you got fried chicken? Let me get, let me cop a bite. <laughs> Tell your police friends everywhere to listen to guys on tap. Yeah, <laughs> if they like to drink. They all like to drink. Everyone likes to drink. What are you talking about? This is true. Most people do enjoy yeah, at least a glass do. of something, you know? Yeah. So, but <sighs> hey, right, speaking honey. of that, make sure you uh, listen to this with your friends. If you don't, at least send it to them. They need us in their lives. Hit all the social medias at Guys on Tap, Instagram, TikTok. And if you want to watch us, find us on YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah. We will go ahead and disclose that the following Thursday, one week from today, we will not have an episode. We are on a one-week vacation. Yep. So we will be back in two weeks, which is June 22nd. Yep. Booyah. Booyah. Yep. So 
Uh, we apologize if we ruined your whole week. You know, we really didn't mean it. Go and rewatch some old episodes or something, yeah. or and tell <laughs> us what your like favorite episodes. Five of them. You know yeah. what you could do, <laughs> and you know what we could do. Just talking this out loud. I don't know if it's worth it, but if you Ooh, know are in need of some filler, uh, go back on YouTube a couple weeks and watch our Gatorade taste test. Yeah. If, if in case you didn't see that somehow, in case that slipped through the cracks for you, we did a Gatorade versus Powerade taste test. Tried yeah. to pick out which one was which. It was a lot of fun to film. Um, so it's on YouTube. Could post audio, but I mean, it, it's not going to be worth it. Nah, for you it's listening. not worth it. It'll just be a um, bunch of sips. Honestly, we, we could just ASMR stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you like exactly. ASMR, watch or listen to it. If you don't, then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, go go and watch that. Maybe we advertise that a little more this week, just to get more eyes on that. Yeah, yeah. we can make another. We could probably make a reel out of that somehow. Yeah, I was gonna maybe. say I'd probably do a couple clips from it too. Yeah. Hey, we'll figure it out. Make sure you're keeping up with us. Uh, since we will not see you guys next week, we'll see y'all in two weeks. Appreciate all the support, and until next time, from guys on tap. Bye. Bye.